many of you already have seen Jamie DeCasso and uh, Craig White, couldn't remember his name there, of course, Craig White's remarks about it. And I think Lynn and I had already had a quick chat and said, yes, it is what's needed. They do need to concentrate on the, the difficulties that we're having at the moment. And I think it shows such a huge confidence in the business to say, well, look, here we are, here's where we are, here's what we need to do, and let's do it. Yes, it's dreadful that the people who qualified for crack off this year won't be going in the next couple of months, but that will be rectified, and I'm sure that Clean Easy will rectify it before then in some other way. Um, Can I just say that they are having a recognition meal? Yeah. Um, all the qualifiers and could you recognize some special people on our team tonight? For, you, for Tom and Kate have qualified. Even oh, though no, that's what you were going to keep going. Uh, no, I wanted you to say, I was, I was oh, meaning to just I passed on to you, Jane. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was no, just. Fine. But yes, Tom and Kate have qualified for crack or have qualified for cattle. And I'm sure. I'm sure people are both really disappointed that they're not going in a couple of months' time. That's understandable, of course it is. However, I'm sure that Kate and her heart of hearts will want the situation and clean easy to be back to where it should be. And yep. that's really what we all want. <laughs> so that we can all have a confidence in the business again. Just as well we done, guys. I know you burst the gut to get yes, that. Yes, you did. You worked really hard. So with that, <laughs> We're, we're having a we're having a wee very short term sulk, but <laughs> really, but, but no. yeah, just a, you know, just a little a, a little short sulk when we saw the emails. But you know what? Oh, Nobody's yeah. died. We've still got a business. Everything's everything's cool, and things are getting better. So uh, we have been we have been recognised for for qualifying. We're delighted that we have, and at the end of the day, we still achieve the goal. So however long it takes for the for the for the trip to take place, is absolutely fine. No problem at all. Good, and I hope you enjoy your dinner when it comes about, Kate. I'm sure you certainly, will. Certainly we will. Thank you very much. Right, so what I'm going to do now is hopefully open this training. But there again, you can never tell. Oh, no. Right, sorry, I just didn't do what I meant to do there. But I have now. So, can... Oh, flip. Bear with me, folks. Short training tonight. I forgot to share the screen. There we are. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So tonight what we're going to do is follow on, funnily enough, from our earlier trainings which is fortune is in the follow-up. And it is. And it's time, it's time to keep going. Well, Tracy, hello Beverly, first webinar. Congratulations, Janie and uh, Tracy, and welcome to the webinar. I nearly got it all mixed up there. And here is what Tracy's been obviously doing to have the new person on our webinar. So fortune is in the follow-up, but where do you start? Because for any, any new person or any person that's been in for a longer period of time and maybe not been active for a wee while, where to start is always the hardest part. And, and what we like to think is that we'll give you all the tools that make it easier for you to be able to go there. I'll just try to move this along the bottom. There we are. So that you can comfortably contact people from the day you join, if that's what you want to do. But we are very, very fortunate in Clean Easy that this is one of the few networks where we have such a range of products. We can make money purely from the products and moving those products. However, the residual incomes are made from building a team. There's lots and lots of ways now to contact people, but the strongest way is still to speak to people. More and more people are reluctant to answer calls, though, 
especially if the numbers are not known. I called a customer tonight from Jim's mobile because I had forgotten mine. I was going out to deliver orders. Um, it was a back order. She didn't know I was coming. She didn't answer. I had to send her a text. It's Jane. Oh, you got a new number. I thought, well, no, but it doesn't matter. I'm not explaining. So, um, yes, people are more reluctant because you get so many odd calls around. But we've got Messenger, Facebook calling, email, text. Believe it or not, tonight I got a call from one of my online shop customers to say, the link you sent to me, I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking for five single duvies. I've got four girls and a boy. Now, she had only ordered a mum's steak and a dad's steak. So I was, I was quite excited at this point. I felt really excited. So Facebook calling, our customers use it as well as ourselves. And you don't have to give away your, um, your, your mobile number when you're using that. And of course, email and text. Email, funnily enough, used to be our first port of call. It's almost my last one now. In fact, it probably is my last one because there's so much goes into spam and junk folders that I use mostly any other method before I use email. So when someone likes your Facebook ad or comments on it, always thank them and tag their name. And if, you've not, if you're not wholly familiar or if you are familiar with Facebook, but maybe have it, haven't used it in this manner before. If you put in, if you start off the name and it comes up, bring up the whole name and then you can hit your, your, your back key and it takes off their son name. It makes it look just that wee bit friendly, but it, it makes it look a bit friendlier, but it still tags them. So it took me a wee while to figure that one out. And if you haven't done that yet, well, fair enough. And if you have, well, Remember and teach all your new people. But all you want to say is, if you or one of your friends would like information, please ask them to message me. You don't really want to put any information on your comment, on your comment box, on your ad, because then it's open to everyone to see it, and you don't have a chance to talk to them. Also, though, you don't want maybe to do the first message to them because... Facebook might look on that as you spamming other people. So um, it's better if one person messages you and you respond. But if they've made a comment or asked a question again, thank you, Jack, can you message me and I'll reply with the information. When someone does message you and remember to check your message requests, sometimes it gets kind of lost, your notification. Um, can you tell me more? Some people might even just come on and say hi. <laughs> and you can, at first I thought, oh, oh, okay. And then I twigged that they probably wanted information. So, you know, it takes all sorts. And it doesn't matter if you're not fully conversant with it. You can still get the message out there. Those who left a comment but don't message you, they might later come back to you or they might decide that they just don't want to bother. Well, that's fine. They may never have spoken to you anyway. Yes, we have a fear of loss, but we have to get over it. And if you work the system correctly, you'll be too busy focusing on the leads that you do have to, the people you do have to speak to, than the ones that maybe haven't followed up their comment with getting back in touch. Here's your first contact reply though. Hi, hi Jack, thanks for your message. You were interested in getting information about earning money on Facebook. We work online and offline and a small selection of items is in our online shop. Just ask to join and I'll add you, put in the link to your shop and then you can also mention you've got the 15 minute video and we use the link to make money from facebookinfo.com. Um, and, you know, people aren't looking for a new friend. They're looking for information. So don't keep it too long, just nice and short and keep it going. 
some people will come back with a comment once they've joined the shop, or it might be a question. Um, they like the products, great, can I have more information? Uh, please do like the products, they're lovely, aren't they? And they sell well. Not sure if you've had a look at the video yet, it's just 15 minutes. It explains how you earn money again, put the link in because it's not mentioned that they've watched the video. So no harm in putting the link back in. Um, if you're still interested, once you've watched the video, we can have a chat. If they join your shop or come back with a question, is there a startup course? I always answer that immediately. I like them to know that we're up front, that um, there's nothing hidden, which there isn't. But sometimes, sometimes that's quite hard. Uh, I usually put, rather than going into every single different um, kit that there is, I say yes, £25. And you get your own personal websites, access to thousands of products with no stock to buy or hold. Most people will bring their money back, will make their money back within a few days of joining. And again, the link to the video. There's a number of things that can get taken from there. Some people will say that they're interested, some people just won't be interested at that point. And me, unfortunately, just not even have a look at the video, which is a shame. But, well, we, we, we can't win, we can't win everything and there's no point in, you know, getting hung up on the people that we can't speak to. Um, sometimes people will come back and say, Yes, I'm interested. What's the next step? Well, if sometimes when you go back and say, well, the next step is to get started, I can send you the link if you're ready to join. Or I can give you a quick phone. Or maybe you have some questions that you want answered. I give them the options to see what they're going to say. Um, I like to speak to them first, if possible. You find out so much more than sitting there typing messages back and forth. It can easily be, you can catch up so much quicker in a conversation. Three questions and you've got whatever you need. But you have to take it. Everybody's different and we have to follow whichever method suits them. So once your new person's registered, if you haven't already found out a wee bit more about them, then really that's what you want to do at that point. Uh, it's so important we find out this information. This is an important thing. This is when our work starts. It's not work advertising for people. It's work when a new person actually physically starts and comes into your business. Because we have to work for them. That's, that's what sponsoring is all about. So really you want to know what they want to do. Just ask a few simple questions. When you find clean and easy, what were you looking for? Was there something in particular? What are you doing just now? And you'll know by the answers what your next questions are. You have children, you don't have to ask every question. Generally, a lot of that is actually offered once you have a, you know, once you ask one question, a lot of information is generally offered to you. The one that we do want to know is how much money are you looking for? Because most people, that's what they join for, money. Um, how much time? Do you have available and how much of it do you want to commit? Because, you know, someone who has 30 hours a week free might not be prepared to commit 30 hours a week. You know, is, so don't ever assume. Just always ask the question. Let people know that there is something else to the business other than catalogs that are online. That's an excellent team building side to the business. And all that is, is letting people know what they do. That's all. Keep it nice and simple.
You want to tell your story, maybe, why you joined and how you became involved, why you became involved in building the team. And you might want to send them the circles just as a visual guide. I would suggest that maybe you don't want to go through all of that on your first call, but at some point you do want to show them just what can be gained by, by following that through and, and showing other people how to make money. But they might want to come back to you. You can ask again, are you free to have a quick word? Be a wee bit quicker, or would you rather we covered it via messenger? You can be firm, however, as I say, you do have to follow what the person wants. Sometimes, sometimes at that point, when it's a commitment, and so far if we run, run back to where I was, where um, you know, you've said, well, the next step is to join. Sometimes they go, hmm, I'm not quite sure that that's what I'm ready to do. So, what do you do when you don't know what to do? Well, we do nothing. So that's, that's what happens. So if, if you don't have a response um, and you can't find people, uh, you know, do, do something like this. I hope you've had a look at my online shop. I thought you'd send you some more information. Um, here's the link. Video's just 15 minutes. Or maybe even a final message saying, I hope once you're not so busy, you can have a, a wee look round and um, message me if you want anything else. If they're telling you it's not for them, thank them. Thanks for letting me know. If your circumstances change, I hope you'll keep me in mind and get back in touch. Or if one of your friends are looking around, would you pass on my name and contact details? You never know who is looking and you never know who they know that's looking. So always ask for referrals. Don't delete the details though if it's all Facebook and I am going on to more than Facebook, but if it is Facebook messages, don't delete them. Um, even the no's, keep them in your archive so that you know you, you can go back and maybe even do a broadcast message when something new occurs. Uh, you know, just to update them. You spoke to me a while, I spoke to you a while ago on Messenger. You were looking to earn some extra income. We've just had a brand new catalogue launched. Have your circumstances changed? Would you maybe be interested in getting some information? You, you don't know. Don't do too many broadcasts on Messenger or you will get into trouble with Facebook. And you really don't want that. You want to continue to use it. However, as I mentioned on Saturday, Many of us built businesses before there was such a thing thought of as Facebook. Oh my, shock horror. Gosh, how was life before Facebook? I know that very few of us can probably even remember those days and how we treated it when we first got Facebook. My goodness, it was something to be poked at and then stand back and have a look at it. But you know, the telephone is a sorting process. But see that? Um, that that photo I've got, that caption I've got in the top right hand side of your screen. Really, people come into cleaning and say, and that's how they view the telephone. It never bothered them before, but come into cleaning and say, it must have bitten them. But we're all like that, believe it or not. You're not alone. You are not alone. But even at work, think, think about it. Those of us who had jobs where it involved using a telephone, quite often you went in in the morning, you took a deep breath and you did your job, which involved you using the telephone. So has it ever been any different? Maybe not. But the telephone calls are a sorting process. You're not convincing anybody, you just want to know the answer. That's all. That's really all. You don't want to persuade anyone to join the business. 
Because if you persuade people, then not only do you persuade them, sorry, my nose is itchy, I beg your pardon. Not only do you, do you persuade them to join the business, you then have to persuade them to do every single aspect of the business. So, you know, d don't insult people's intelligence for doing that. And I'm sure no one does. But all we do is sort through the inquiries to find people who want to talk to us. That's what open-minded really means in this case. And they want information. That's all. It takes the pressure off as well. Structure of the call never, ever changes. You open the call. You set the agenda. You ask questions. You present the information. And you ask for commitment. Hi. Can I speak to Jack, please? Hi, Jack. My name is Jane. And you recently responded to an online ad where we were earning, you were looking for um, information how you could earn some extra income. Are you free to have a quick chat with me? If the answer is yes, then I say, I've called to introduce myself and also one to give you a wee bit of information, but also to give me some information about yourself so that I best know whether or not, um, you know, how what's going to suit you. Is that all right? So then go on. The ad you responded to, and at the moment the ads that I'm using are catalogue delivery and collection as well as online. So I'm using both. So I will say, well, Jack, do you remember responding to an ad? There was, I've got two running at the moment. It's either catalogue delivery and collection or online posting of ads. And I can explain that in a wee bit further. Now, generally, if you follow up fairly quickly, they will tell you yes. If people interrupt, I do say, that's the reason I'm giving you a wee call, Jack. Just to give you a wee bit more information, but also just to get a wee bit information about you. Do you mind me doing that? Again, ask for their, ask, ask for their permission. So, what are you doing just now? And then keep your lips firmly together and find out what people are going to say. Now, the next question might not be one that I'll always ask. It depends on the answer to the, what are you doing just now, Jack? I always ask, how much money are you looking for every week? Do you have a figure that you need to earn? Sometimes they do have a figure. Sometimes they'll say, well, I need to pay my rent and um, I'm at college so I need a bit extra for, but really it's just my rent. Your next question is quite simple then. So how much is your rent every month, Jack? How much are you looking for? Then you would always ask, and how much time do you have to commit every week? How much time do you want to give? Sometimes the reply will, I'm not sure how much time I'll need to give. Once you know how much money they want to earn, you've got a rough idea of how much time they need to commit. You might want to say, yes, well, we are looking for two different types of people. Um, one who's looking to earn three to 500 pounds every month, uh, maybe topping up what you already earn or fitting round and you already know what they do. Uh, we've got catalogues, we deliver and collect, and also we post products online. Can I send you some information? Now, it depends on how receptive someone is, whether I would go on and say, we're looking for more ambitious people. It just depends, but really stick to the basic information and just always keep your calls the same. The reason you keep your calls the same is because really that gives you all the information you need and it also makes you feel comfortable. And that's more important. You feeling comfortable 
is the most important thing. If you're comfortable, you'll keep doing it. People usually give you the, the reasons why they're going to join Clean Easy, though, when they're, when they're um, explaining to you what they need, what they want to earn, what they want it to fit round, um, that they need it to be flexible, that they maybe can't commit the same number of hours every single week. Um, you know, so there's a lot of reasons that they will give you in there. Uh, do they use Facebook? Have they used it for a while? A lot of younger people now are using Facebook, um, but they've come off it for whatever reason. Uh, would they be prepared maybe to use it if they chose? If you choose to join the business, would it be something that you would go and use again? I usually ask. Um, and we explain that we can, we use Facebook, social media, I usually call it social media because there's more to there's there's more online than just Facebook. And then you can share some stories. Now you might not want to go any further than I can show you how to make some money using Facebook. However, at that point you can say, how about if I send you some information, I can text it. I can message it if you're on Facebook, or alternatively, I can email it. And email is usually my last port of call. I usually ask them when we're doing the call, how much time are you prepared to commit every week to earning the money? So, um, we may take it on, we'll say, you know, from what I've said to you so far, is this something that might suit you, you feel might suit you? Some people will, turn, will, will tell you at that point, no. A chap said to me the other night, no, I'm really not able to work on my own. That's fine. You know, I said, well, thanks very much for, for letting me know. I'll send you the information if you don't mind. Let you have a look at it. If you feel at that point that you would still be working too much on your own, then you know that's fine. However, if you feel it's something you might want some information about, please get back in touch with me. Always leave the door open. How do you feel about the team building, you know, the sharing with other people? then you might want to say, are you ready to get started? Do you feel you're ready to get started or do you have more questions? So then you can take them through the kits, get their email address because often you don't have it and send the link. Some people will take them through, sorry, the online presentation. And I have to be honest, I don't do that. However, if it's, it is there, Many people will be quite happy doing that. And if you are happy, do it. Often though someone will say, no, I really don't want any more information. Do you mind me asking what puts you off? Often the first reason someone will tell you is not the reason that, that, that is putting them off. And it's only through maybe a further conversation that you will find out really what put them off. If someone says to me, I couldn't walk up someone's path, I can categorically say, gosh, I do know how you feel. That's how I felt. But you know something? I found that once I did it two or three times, it was fine. The first one was the worst. But people were fine. Now, and I hope you don't mind me sharing Bianca, but Bianca a couple of weeks ago delivered her first order to a total stranger. And that was a huge thing for, for Bianca to do. So yes, I do know how you feel. I felt the same. And I found it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, so did Bianca, which I'm really pleased about. But generally, that is how it works. 
The only one I've really been stumped with is a girl who joined the business and said that she used to cry every time she felt, heard a catalog hitting the floor on the other side of a, uh, uh, on the other side of the letterbox. Now I couldn't get my head around that. I just let her off with the first excuse. I couldn't take that one any further. It just was beyond me, I'm afraid. But you know, um, some some people don't like Facebook. You know, that's fine. I do know how you feel. I'm not. I probably, if I wasn't in the business, I wouldn't use Facebook either. But we've got so many other way, ways to move our product that really you and Facebook don't need to mix. So there is things you can say. And I know that everyone on here has got experience that they can pull on to say, yes, I know how that felt. Gosh, I remember how that felt. But, you know, when someone says no, just always say, thanks very much for letting me know, Jack. I hope the inter information I sent to you, you found interesting. I am looking for people throughout the UK. I know it's not for you at the moment, but you might have a friend who is looking for cash. And if you pass on either my name and number or, you know, or, or the information that I sent to you, then I would really appreciate it. Oh, and that's me finished. There we go. Gosh. Well done, Jane. Thank you so much. That's why I mute everybody. <laughs> <coughs> I used to not use so it's easier because of, it doesn't, it tells me how to mute all, but it doesn't keep my mute button, it says unmute all. It does say unmute all. It's the same I place. Know, I mean, it's not for me just now. <laughs>